The November launch of Nintendo's Wii U didn't go quite as smoothly as they probably hoped. In our most viewed and most controversial episode ever, we talked about the various issues around the launch, which included a large system update and a delayed Nintendo TV service. Well, tomorrow, December 20th, Nintendo will finally introduce TV for fans of the Wii U in the US and Canada. The service is meant to consolidate all your cable, satellite, and on-demand accounts in one place. Additionally, there are a series of social features available on the gamepad. At the launch, Nintendo TV will support cable and satellite providers and direct integration of Amazon Instant and Hulu Plus. Further integration with Netflix and TiVo are expected in early 2013. As of now, you can watch Netflix, but only from a dedicated app on the system's main menu. The update is completely free and there is no additional hardware required. Some people in Seattle, at least, are really excited about what the Wii U has to offer. At Seattle's SeaTac Airport on Monday night, some thieves made off with 7,000 Nintendo Wii U consoles. Apparently, the culprits drove into the cargo bay in two semi-trucks, then used a forklift to load pallets of the consoles into the two semis and another truck. The total value of their theft? Around two million worth of Wii U's. So if you're in the Seattle area and a man in a trench coat offers you a great deal on a Wii U, keep in mind that it may be possible to track the devices through serial numbers. But at least for Nintendo, the motive for this crime is probably music to their ears. You know, everyone wants a Nintendo Wii U. If you got a Wii U around the time of the launch, how are you liking it? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. This is Annie for TFN.